evening. People on the Isle of Sheppey have protested at plans to house dozens of teenage asylum seekers at a newly constructed care home. Well, today it was revealed that Ocean Heights on the coast of Minster is one of seven locations in Kent earmarked for migrants. Home office figures show a record 5,000 people have crossed the channel on small boats this year. Well, those against the plan say the move deprives the island of badly needed care home facilities. Refugee welfare campaigners say there's a legal duty to provide unaccompanied child asylum seekers with safe and secure accommodation. With more on this, here's Kit Bradshaw. Just five days since locals were first informed that a disused care home was to be turned into an asylum reception centre, the campaign to stop it is gathering pace. A petition against the plans for Ocean Heights at Minster Lees has already gathered more than three and a half thousand signatures. We're not going to take this line down, absolutely not. Um, I believe with the right sort of um, traction, the right sort of protests, peaceful of course, we can overturn this. And the anger of some has only been heightened by the recent closure of a council-run care home nearby. Blackburn Lodge, which has been closed, that was a, a social care housing facility. This would have been a perfect opportunity to, to house them in this building, yet the KCC ruled there was nowhere suitable to house. But, as if by magic, it's now suitable to house illegal immigrants. The plan is for this building to be used as temporary shelter for up to 50 unaccompanied migrant children aged between 16 and 18. I find it absolutely shocking that there's a petition going to say, let's not house these children in a former care home. You thought people would be queuing up to support children under such appalling circumstances and yet what do we find? We find a petition to say, not in my backyard. We're 60 miles from the beaches of Calais, 40 miles from Westminster, but it's this corner of the Isle of Sheppey which finds itself at the centre of a row over how the British state should house unaccompanied children arriving on these shores seeking asylum. Kent County Council says this seaside location is one of nine sites for reception centres to accommodate young people. Seven of those, including this one, will be brand new facilities. Last summer we had a High Court judgment. That has required us to build out reception centres at speed um, and uh, with, with, it must be said, government funding. So this is not something that the Kent Council taxpayer uh, is meeting. Uh, but we have to do this to be able to comply with the requirements of the court. Over the Easter Bank holiday weekend, the total number of people recorded arriving this year via small boat topped 5,000. The first time on record that's happened between January and the end of March. Back on Sheppey, there's concern from those who stopped to speak to us. This is the most executive area on the island, and there's certainly more places they could actually be located. I think it's disgusting what they could have put the old people from the Blackburn up there. I have a beach out here and I can sit for hours in it on my own. Now I will not be. I'll be too scared. The County Council insists that it understands local people's concerns as security on this site is visibly stepped up ahead of its planned opening for new migrant arrivals from May with six other new centres due to follow across Kent. Kit Bradshaw, ITV News, Minster on Sea. More of the day's news now in Kent Police.